LMED stands for Lifestyle Medicine Education. Lifestyle Medicine incorporates nutrition, exercise, sleep hygiene, social connectivity, resilience, and a reduction of risky substance use into the teaching of medical students who are going to be our future physicians and our future clinicians to treat and prevent chronic disease. I'm Dr. Jennifer Trilk. I'm an associate professor here at the University of South Carolina School of Medicine, Greenville, and I'm one of the founding faculty of the medical school. I also developed the lifestyle medicine curriculum here, the core curriculum that spans all across the four years of the undergraduate medical school curriculum, and also was director of the distinction track, and I direct the culinary medicine program. The lifestyle medicine education is just a very unique opportunity to learn about a, a super important part of healthcare that is not taught nationally in medical schools. It empowers students that besides pharmacotherapy, there are some lifestyle interventions which are actually much more effective as well as cost effective for our patients as well as physicians. It is such a cost saving for our healthcare system. Our goal in lifestyle medicine, this, this curriculum, was to implement recipes that lowered sodium, lowered sugar, lowered, I, will, I won't say all the bad things, fats, inappropriate fats, unhealthy fats. To innovate curriculum, to bring in the effects and the power of exercise, the power of nutrition, the power of good sleep hygiene, and create a lifestyle medicine curriculum here at the school to train the future doctors for prevention of disease and treatment and reversal of chronic disease. We've known for a long time that a lot of what we're dealing with in healthcare right now is preventable things, things like type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, complications of obesity, number one killer, coronary artery disease. So the fact that we're finally really addressing it is overdue and the fact that Greenville is spearheading this is really an honor. I have heard many testimonials from our patients as well as from medical students in regards to the lifestyle medicine curriculum. And I have to say that for many of them, it has been life changing. I had a problem with my hip and uh, I was sent to a neurologist to make some evaluations. And he made further referrals to a surgeon, to other doctors to find out if it's a problem my hip or is it someplace else. He ended up referring me to Dr. Revilla. I spent time talking with medical students and the doctors about what's good information, what should we stay away from, and just things that are gonna help with our quality of life. So it's been really wonderful. It's such an engaging curriculum to be a part of, learning how multifaceted health is and how it can be affected by so many different parts of your life. It's a fantastic part of our curriculum here at the School of Medicine Greenville, um, and it's something that makes our school so unique, and I just love seeing the other students get involved with it um, and get interested in it, um, and it is part of our, every student that comes through here goes through the curriculum. Our doctors are trained to look at the root cause of the disease through poor nutrition, high saturated fat, high cholesterol, high sodium, uh, to look at physical inactivity because sedentary behavior is the fourth leading cause of mortality in the United States, independent of other chronic diseases. So to take a look at that and to train our doctors how to implement those modalities as medicine, as prevention-oriented medicine and treatment in an, as an adjunct or as a first line of defense for chronic disease, that is something that is powerful and will help us for the community and hopefully be able to turn the tide of the chronic disease that we see here in the United States.